What's up, man? Why am I even wearing these glasses? Oh, those are fly. Dude. Are those Varnays? <laughs> what is that? Varnays, Ital I, Italian? Well, they're high. I used to wear those in the 80s when I skated. Nice. Or 90s. Fuck, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. No, no. These are the new Keeley Mesmers. What? So you can only use that pedal wearing those suckers? What is this, anyways? Um, it looks like a wild ass Keeley pedal. This is a wild ass Robert Keeley special called the Mesmer. He released this thing on 420. Cool. Dude! <laughs> yes! Did it come with Bud? Oh, fuck! Did it come with Bud? Dude, no, it came with these glasses though. Let me read what they say about this. This Keeley Mesmer Astral Delay has at least three modes we can rap about. There are two delay lines that are like bong hits. Blow single notes or chords in the rooms of lungs expand in fifths or octaves. Then there is an arpeggiator that sings in smoke rings. It swirls notes into billowing chords from, from the ember of a single tone. T-H-C. So THC, generally Keeley is known for stuff like this. I like, love that compressor. I don't really know anything about compressors, never really used one, but I know Adrian Ballou, uh, John Mayer, that's not a joke. John Mayer actually really does use Keeley compressors and stuff. So sugar. I just, these are like sugar from Halo Orbit, Buffalo Ooh, good, Dog, good, 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 straight good drop, up. Good drop. So anyways, so Keeley makes really nice sounding things and then sometimes we're lucky enough to get the weird sounding Keeley things. So he sent me a little note on the back. He says, warning, place in your pedal board and loop it, signed Robert Keeley. Autograph, what's up? He signed it? So anyways, I, I, I read you what the stoner thing is, but what does it even do? Well, if you were to ask me, I guess I'd say it's a very short uh, octave sequencer looper, kind of, because it does take your note and loop, I don't know, a second or two of it, and then you can adjust it and manipulate it and do all this stuff. So it, it is really, really cool. I love it. Um, Let's smoke it. Wait. You look like you've never smoked in your life. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. So I don't, I don't have a manual for this. I just read you what it says on the website about it. So again, just getting into what, what's happening here. Um, well, I like it set. Actually, this is the way I like everything set, everything cranked. But I'm just going to show you. I'm going to do kind of just like a basic setting so you can hear what this thing even does. So... Um, okay, time, ramp, blend, feedback. Pretty simple. The ramp is going to be either going, the sequencer going in one direction or the sequencer going in the other direction. So let's see. So, oh, and then the switch in the middle is octave, fifths, and then pitch. And the pitch is sort of like, well, they said the arpeggiator, but well, I'll show you what that does. I don't, I don't really see that as arpeggiating. But So here's, here's a basic sound. So it's sequencing through four octaves. Okay, and that's with the time set cranked all the way. So let's move the time down to, this will this should be kind of like uh, video game sounding, I'm guessing. So again, that's with the blend all the way up, so when I'm not, not hearing my actual obviously my original signal. So here's with it. So now when I go to the fifth setting, which is all the way up, so it's taking my note and, you know, hammering it up a fifth and then giving you the octaves of that fifth. So it's not actually sequencing between an octave and a fifth, it's just octaves of the fifth. The fifth is pretty stoner-ish. That's like a stone, like very kind of like sativa. Yeah, nine like you're right. in like '93. Just sativa. You smoke sativa. Sativa. Yeah. yeah. Sativa. You is dip. A, a you strain. Dip, it's yeah. a strain. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. I was thinking of salvia. Oh no, that's sweetener. No, no, that's 
Sweetener is <laughs> stevia. Salvia is like a gnarly, gnarly, like hallucinogenic, I think. So anyways, I could I could just understand how the fifth, like a fourth. You mean indica. No, that right. too, though. Lord. Like a made, you know, you wouldn't, a stoner wouldn't care about like a major third or like a goth would probably care about a minor third. Uh, you know, and like a dork is all about the fucking major third, but like the stoner is the fifth. Yes, and the flat five would go to the metal. Metal, yeah. Straight up. So anyway, so that's what this thing does, right? So um, let me just show you. Well, again, I like the blend all the way up. So I'm on just on the octave setting. I've got the blend cranked, so you're not going to hear it. And even if we were in the fifth setting, you're not going to hear the fifth because I don't have my root note in there since the blend is hammered, you know? It's just... It's arbitrary sounding. It's an arbitrary fifth without the root in there. So anyways, keep it in the octave, and I'm just going to show you what it sounds like uh, taking this ramp knob and slowly moving it. Okay, make sense? So now that's what this pedal does. Oh, actually, now I want to show you the pitch, the middle one, because this does some interesting stuff too. So, um, all right, let's see where this is at. All right, maybe this is the best way to show that setting. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, so that's what... And then obviously he changed the ramp. Those are some settings. Now, now, now let's get to the real deal. This is what I have found is the coolest thing with this guy. Okay, so you crank it on. No, no guitar signal. Oh, you gotta have a little signal. You hear the buzz. Now what's important about that, for me what I found with it, is that that helps me know where I'm at in the sequence. So I can just pick what I want the one to be um, based on what I'm going to like send into it and loop, I guess. So. Okay, so that's still in there right now, but I just want to show. So when I take this ramp knob, I'm going to move it to 12 o'clock, which in the 12 o'clock position, there's no octave sequencing. You're just going to hear what is actually captured in the pedal, and then I'll move it counterclockwise, and it's going to reverse the sequence. So here we go. Bring, the, bring it back in. saying so that's just what it has been captured into the pedal Thank <laughs> you. 
So when I saw that when you move the time knob, is it recording your move? Yes. So you can tweak, if you get this timed correctly, you can tweak the time knob and it will, you know, like, uh, kind of like tape, like if you were stopping a cassette tape or something or a vinyl, it'll kind of like scratch it and then Dope. record that in its, the, the brain. The Cypress memory. Hill, dog. Dude. Cypress Hill. All right. So for instance, let's make this really simple and show you that sound. Okay, so now I'm going to take the time knob. I also have the, the the time set to the longest thing. So when you go here, though, you you obviously you know get different sounds from the looping. Actually, let me let me show you now with the fifth, because now that I have the blend not dime, this might make a little more sense. So. Thank you. 